Welcome back everybody to our continuation of the fourth part. Let me make it fifth part. In this fifth part we want to continue our work in the data x object and basically we are going to explain to you what things that are included in the data x object. So first thing in the data x object we just got two methods here. You can add many methods like delete, insert, update. Mainly I have two methods, get all the records and insert the records. So these two methods, you can add many others if you understand these two methods. First thing you need to make a statement and uh, this statement to be known the first. After that we're going to create a, a method that return a list of students okay and the name of this method is gonna be get all students so let me just name this to get all students okay this is the first thing uh, that you need to do we created a, a, an empty list here and we just try to get the connection by going to my connection equal new connection and the DB connection in this object equal to the get connection which will return a connection and after that we are going to create a SQL statement select start from school dot student we are going to bring all the the records from school dot student the database name is school the table is student we're going to bring all the records and we are going to make a result set to be equal to statement that we after we create the statement we are going to take this statement and put it inside a result set okay so statement that execute query after we executing the query for the selected query which is select table SQL we're gonna take this result and put it inside the result set after that we can take this data and put it inside the table return it to a list and do a lot of stuff here we wanna return them as a list of students so first thing in order to take all the records we need to do this while this result set dot next has a next record we want to take the values by a for loop or a while loop so we take the ID the name the address okay we create an object and we take this object and add it to my list my list here is an empty array list of students so we just keep adding and adding and adding all the records until we finish the, uh, the, the, the table retrieved result, okay? After this, uh, we trying to close the, you know, there's a rule here in closing the connection. So close the connection as early as possible. So we're using this in order to close the connection by using the finally keyword after the try catch statement we say if statement not equal to null we need to set the statement to be closed and also we need to close the connection if the connection is not equal to null that means it's open we need to close the connection as early as possible after that we just basically we return the list of employees so this is gonna be the result of executing this method notice here if we got an empty result set we're gonna return an empty record because here we don't have any value inside the the uh, uh, list of students okay so this is uh, the first method we have other method for inserting we just do the same thing uh, we uh, as you can see here we just do execute update in the above statement uh, we execute a query here we execute an update uh, you know it's a different thing but the same thing in the same approach uh, we close the connection as early as possible so this is pretty much for the data x object in the next video which is the last video in our tutorial we're gonna teach you how to uh, take this data x object and bind it to uh, 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 what we call it uh, data view form Okay, we gotta put it there, and also we gonna take the insert method method from the data x object and apply it in into the uh, insert form. So we gonna implement these two form 
with the data x object function all of these so i hope you like it guys don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video thanks